gosh, check this out. Yeah, I'm gonna ask my girlfriend to marry me today. Yes, I am going to ask Rachel to marry me today on Christmas Eve. I've been thinking about doing this for a while now, and now that the day is here, I am super nervous, but I'm also super excited at the same time. Before all this happens, let's have a little bit of a backstory on how Rachel and I met. So back in the day, we've known each other probably for around seven, eight years now. We both went to Walsh University. We were Blue and Global Scholars together. We lived across from one another in the same dorm, and she was actually dating one of my good friends and roommate in college. We were all in the same friend group, it was awesome, they dated for a while, and they ended up breaking up senior year, so our friend group kind of shifted a little bit, and then graduation happened, and our friend group shifted even more, but there was the core group of us that stayed together, and Rachel and myself were one of them. I went off to Ireland, but Rachel and I still stayed friends, our friend group was still chatting and all of this stuff. I ended up coming back, and then one day, Rachel and I hung out and we were hanging out, having a good time, exploring, doing some things, we watched an awesome movie, and then she kissed me. And now I'm asking her to be my wife. How wild. Is that wild? How the heck am I going to give her this ring? Fantastic question. Well, she ended up telling me that she loved me first. It was awesome, I just wanted to make sure that I loved her too before I actually said it, because when you say I love you for the first time, it's super important to me. So I didn't say it right away. However, eventually we continued to date, have an awesome time, become better and better best friends, and it was great. And then when I was at my grandma's house, I finally decided, you know, I absolutely love Rachel. And that's what I told her. So for Christmas Eve, my entire family, we go to my grandmother's house and we have this awesome celebration. So I figured this is the perfect time to ask the love of my life to marry me because that is where I decided, hey, I do love you and I wanna see where this goes. So the game plan. Christmas Eve, we're all going to my grandmother's house, probably around late afternoon. We go off to Christmas Eve mass, we get back. I'm going to have this gazebo decorated with lights. Once we get back from mass, we're gonna go inside, everybody's gonna come, and they're gonna start a meal. Then, while all of that hub love is happening, I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna switch on the lights, get everything set up, and I'm gonna say, Rachel, I have your final Christmas gift. Come out here, have her close her eyes, walk her out to the gazebo. My grandmother lives on this farm, and it's kind of a secluded gazebo. It's awesome, with lights. I'm gonna turn them on, and then I'm gonna have her stand there, keeping her eyes closed, I'm gonna get down on a knee, and say, all right, Rachel, you can open your eyes. And then I'm gonna ask her to be my wife. What's even better is this ring. So Rachel and I, we are much more simple. We'd rather have something more meaningful. So this ring is actually my great grandmother's, Edna Rosendale. So she lived in the small town of Bloomdale as well. So that's where I'm going to be asking Rachel to marry me. Edna was apparently the best pie maker out there. My grandma was telling me some stories and she said that Edna didn't need recipes. She knew the exact amount of everything to put into the crust to make it perfectly flaky. And Rachel is the same way. She loves to make pies and she doesn't even use recipes. She just makes them from scratch and knows how much of everything to put in. I have no idea how she does that. But that's why I think this ring is absolutely perfect for her. So Edna, thanks for letting me use this and thanks for making the awesome pies. Rachel, I know we'll be making you proud. All right, guys, wish me luck. I have to go open up Topped very quickly, and then head over to my grandma's, get things set up, and then I'm gonna pop the question. All right, we're chilling in top. This is Noelle. She is an awesome gluten-free baker, and look at all the goodies that she has. So she has like a little pop-up shop that she comes in a couple days a week at Top and sells all these delicious things. What? Those are so Those look delicious. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Guess what? What? I'm gonna ask Rachel to marry me today. <gasps> yeah! I've been waiting for this. All right. 
couple hours spent at Topped, made some lunches for some people on their Christmas Eve. Now it is game time, heading to Bloomdale to set up the place where I will ask Rachel to marry me. Let's go! the game plan. This is the gazebo where I'm gonna pop the question and all the action is gonna be happening. Of course, I wanna deck it out, so I've got some lights, I've got some little candles, I'm gonna put all those up before we head to mass, and then after we get back, I'm gonna bring her out here and do it. Let's decorate. Stringing up the lights, and the electricity works, so uh, we're good to go. All right, the stage has been set. I got the lights up, everything's working. All right, everything is set up, the gazebo is ready to roll. Rachel's now meeting us at church, we are on the way. Stop smiling like that, right here. What? I'm right here. <laughs> what? Oh, greetings. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so what? We just got back from Christmas Eve Mass. Now time to have you meet the entire big family. <sighs> All right, guys. It's showtime. I'm gonna go get her. You can't open your eyes until I say so. You ready? No. <laughs> okay, you can open them. Rachel, I want to spend the rest of my life with you and have so many fun adventures. So please, will you marry me? Oh my God. So uh, we're getting married. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 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 